Hey guys, we boiling crawfish today here in Louisiana, and I got a few seasons for y'all to check out. Okay, we got Louisiana. Um, this is Louisiana right here. All right, then this is your crawfish crab shrimp boil, but this is gonna be your more spicy one. Um, a lot of people's favorite, but um, again, depends on what you're cooking. Here's Zatarain's uh, Pro Boil. That's one of my favorites. It's got a lot more season for flavor, your onion powder, your, uh, your celery powder, stuff like that. So, uh, your Zatarain's regular is gonna be more salty, not enough spice. So then you got Tony Sasseries, is another one of my favorites. Tons of flavor, good seasoning, uh, a little more expensive. Uh, then we have your liquid. Uh, this right here is good for your soaking, but you're still gonna have to have your powder. Uh, and I always got some cayenne pepper on hand. Okay, so each one of these containers is going to boil you a sack of crawfish. Um, you can add your extra, you know, I got my cayenne pepper, a little bit of your liquid. All right, that's that, that goes over our seasoning. So uh, we're going to move on to the rest of the stuff you got to have for a Louisiana crawfish boil. Okay, we got margin right here and we got potatoes we got onion celery corn sausage garlic mushrooms lemons and one thing that makes it a little different than a traditional is the oranges sassumas is what we grow in louisiana but whatever oranges you can get your hands on um, those a lot of people would disagree which it's a lot of people that that um you know, crawfish boil is one of those things like ribs. Uh, there's a million different ways to do it, and everybody wants to fight on what's the best. But, uh, and oh yeah, and mushrooms, you gotta have your mushroom. But, um, okay, so with the oranges, you can't even taste the sweetness. Uh, it's another citrus. Um, to me, I like it. Y'all try it. Let me know how y'all do y'all's on the comments below. But anyways, yeah, that's our vegetables. That's our seasoning. This is how you get a Louisiana crawfish boil going, baby. So we're going to move on to how we clean the crawfish. And we're going to cook crawfish a couple different ways today. Um, so stay tuned. Here we go with our crawfish. All right, let's get to how we clean our crawfish. Myself, this is how I feel like is the best way. You can buy gadgets and everything else to do it. But take your ice chest, pull the plug, just let the water continue to rinse. Do this about three times, depending on what time of year it is. Early in the season, a little bit cleaner than they are in later in the season. But run your water until it's clean. Uh, we're getting where that water is pretty clean, and a lot of people want to use salt on Persian crawfish. You do not need salt. All you do is kill them. This is, I feel like the best way of doing it is just to continue rinse until your water's clear. You'll have no dirt and no grit. Okay, I, I said before we're gonna have a couple different ways of doing this. All right, this one with the ice chest is, I'm keep on cleaning. We got one sack of crawfish here. Okay, it's just me and my daughter eating today, so it's not a real big crawfish bowl. Uh, so we got these right here that's gonna be seasoned and eaten like a traditional crawfish bowl. These right here, I'm actually putting into the freezer to use for etouffees, gumbos, po' boys, you know, everything. So, whenever you do that, these right here, you're going to boil with nothing in the water. A lot of people does this with seasoning and stuff like that, but if you know you're going to have leftover crawfish, this is how the plants do it. Um, so, you're, this is, if you want to know how to process crawfish tails, this is how you do it. You're going to use those crawfish right there in that tub, and you're going to put them in no seasoned water. Just basically, the only thing is water in the pot. And you're going to give them a good boil for three minutes. After three minutes, take them out, let them cool, start processing your tails to put into your freezer for your football season or whenever time you want to use them. And that's how you do a crawfish. Um, tails and after that we're going to get the party started with a lot of season 
beets, potatoes, corns, you name it, we're going to do it up. But again, if you want to put your tails in, in the freezer and you want them to taste like the stores, the best thing to do is boil your water, just water, no season, nothing in your water. Boil them for three minutes, take them out, cool, peel, freeze them. But uh, that's it, y'all. So uh, let's get this thing started. Can't wait. Hungry. Ready for crawfish. All right, guys. We got our tails out. Or our crawfish out. It's going to go in the freezer. That's what we're going to peel for Etsy Phase, Po' Boys, you name it. Uh, I want to go over a couple other things, too. Get yourself a good boat paddle. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a regular boat paddle or a metal one. Uh, it makes it real easy to make sure all your crawfish is cooked while they're soaking. Another thing is, get yourself a pair of gloves. Those, you can get at Academy. Uh, anywhere that they sell uh, barbecuing stuff throughout the country, you can find those gloves. Uh, it saves you from a lot of holes in your hands with dealing with crawfish. But okay, now we're about to make the magic happen. That's what I like to say. We're about to fill up the pot with all the goodness, all our seasonings, and all our vegetables. So uh, I'm videoing myself today, so deal with me. I have to uh, put the camera down to start the, uh, the fire. And I know it's going to be a little loud. Hopefully y'all can still hear me. But yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, we got our potatoes and corn in. I wanted to share something with y'all. What I do for my little girl is um, I put the potatoes and corn in with very little seasoning. So before I crank it up and put a lot of seasoning in the spot, uh, I go ahead and just put, you know, um, maybe a quarter of the seasoning in. And I put my potatoes and corn in. Look, if, you, if you're making potatoes and corn, I'm going to go ahead and give you a real quick tip. Potatoes take 20 minutes on a rolling boil. Corn takes 10. So I usually put my potatoes in, wait 10 minutes, and then I go ahead and add in my corn. So right now, I got the corn and potatoes in. And um, next thing is all this goodness and those crawfish. And be careful because they are skateboarders. <laughs> all right. Just want to let y'all know on that. Uh, that's something I do for my daughter. If it's just the guys or you got all your guests like hot food, hey, look, put the corn and potatoes in, put your crawfish in, and this is something I do, but put your potatoes in, add your crawfish and all your vegetable. Then whenever I cook the crawfish for five minutes at a rolling bowl uh, or I see steam, I cut the fire off, add my frozen corn in what that does is it's kind of it's kind of like putting ice in and uh what that does is uh, it stops the cooking process whenever you're letting your crawfish soak um, that's just a little tip that i like to do um, so yeah next crawfish fellas i can't wait all right guys we got the corn potatoes out they right here that way they're not too hot for my little girl but okay next up we're going all in the pot right everything everything joins the party except for your mushrooms you want to wait for the mushrooms to be last because you don't want that season to soak them up and you don't want them overcooked uh, all right here we go all right guys we got everything in the pot we got the mushrooms we got everything all we gotta do is wait now another 10 minutes these are going to be the best crawfish you're going to eat, in my opinion. But anyways, uh, everything in the pot, another 10 minutes we'll be eating. I'll show you that as soon as we get finished. All right, guys. Another little tip. We got a crawfish or mushrooms in there. Everything's in the pot. We're about to eat. But the more they sink to the bottom, the spicier they're going to get. Just to let you know that. So the spice you want them, let them, let them sink. But anyways, we about to eat. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all try it. All right, guys. Finished product. Here we go. 
I see all the goodness in there. We got everything in the box, everything in the pot. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all tried. Let me know in the comments below how y'all do y'all's. Uh, this is what I enjoy doing. I've cooked in restaurants and I've cooked for myself in the backyard. And this is the one of the ones that I really enjoy. So I hope you enjoy, hope you try. Let me know if, in the comments how y'all do y'all's. All right, thank you. Yeah.